Hello, this is Ear Trash, and this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how you can make the Reese bass in Ableton Live just using Operator. No other VSTs, no other effects, just Operator. So I've seen quite a few other videos on YouTube um, showing you this sound, but none of them are actually explaining and nobody's actually talking and like bad quality and stuff. So I'm making this video high definition, so hopefully everybody can follow it quite easily. Please remember to rate the video if you find it helpful or if you just feel like helping my channel out, that would be much appreciated. But the first thing I'm going to start off with is a MIDI track and put in an operator. Now we've got our operator, I'm going to go to our main bit here and change the layout to horizontal. And then I'm going to go to our, our pitch and enable glide and put that up to 75 milliseconds. And that's just going to mean that the notes slide up to each other. Next, I'm going to go to our main panel here and put the voices to 1 so that it doesn't try and play chords when it slides. Right, so then I'm going to go to the first oscillator here and I'm going to change that to a saw. And it can be any saw, but I'm going to put it to a saw 32. And I'm going to go to the second oscillator and I'm going to put that to a saw D. But you can play about with them, you can change the type of saw. So then I'm going to put the level on the second oscillator right up. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting that. Where's our MIDI? Um, so I put that one right up. Uh, let's see what that sounds like now. And it's not very impressive so far. So we need to put on the filter. Enable filter. Put the frequency up to about 1.5 kilohertz. Which basically just cuts off the top end a bit. Um, put the, the resonance up to about 1.5 as well and that will basically add a bit of snap to the sort of mid to high range. Let's see what that sounds like now. Nothing impressive so far. So we need to go to the shaper here and put the shaper onto hard. Get in there, get in there. And this is the magic part. You go to the tuning on the second oscillator. I think you could probably do it in the first one as well, but I'm going to do it in the second oscillator here. And I'm just going to put the tuning up 30. So yeah, that's it. That's our Reese bass sound. Uh, hopefully this has helped some people that have been searching for Reese bass and hopefully my subscribers as well. If you're new to my channel, then please remember to subscribe and um, rate the videos and all that good stuff. That'll be much appreciated. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.